Hey everybody, how you doing today? Happy Veterans Day and thank you to all the veterans who serve this great country of ours. But I had to take a break from the Veterans Day auction and come over here and share a video with you because I was amazed at a piece I just seen come up that so many people in the chat were like, wow, I've never seen one of those. What is it? You're gonna see it in a minute, so stick and stay. Then you got, the one that was on the auction was in a case like this. So here's a different version of the same thing, but with a different paint job. It's a 1920, this might be a 23. That's a 22 piece dollar with a different paint job on it, as you can tell. And the back's also different as well. I personally like this version better. That's pretty cool anyway. I dig it. This version is cool. I like this version. You know, it's the only one of these I've seen, honestly, of this version right here. I've only ever seen one of these. There probably are more. I mean, I've seen them on eBay before. Yeah, but like in our community, did somebody would have one? No. Not over for a sleep bay. But anyway, yeah. So there's the other version of the Peace Dollar. So there's two different versions that I personally know of. And don't get me wrong, they don't let them organs slide. No, look at that. A beautiful painted Morgan as well. 1921 Morgan. She's all stazzied up. Didn't paint the back of the Morgan. Just painted the front, but I had to have that one as well. I love the painted items as you're going to see in this video. This one isn't painted. I just thought it was sick. It is a silver and 24 karat gold plated Sacagawea. Yep, it has a COA as well with it. It is so hard to get out of here, though. I mean, it's like the toughest coin on the planet to get out of this little holder. You wouldn't think it would be, but God, listen to my voice. I'm seriously crunching into that. And there's the back, how it's done on the back. Silver plated, 24 karat gold as well. Sacagawea, no doubt. I loved it. I seen that on a, I don't even know where I got that from. I'm not 100% sure no more. I'm gonna stick it in there like that from now on. I just gotta yank it out like that. I hope that doesn't shut it down in there. No, and it's still stuck in there. So great, there's Sacagawea. Let's slide over here. We got some nickels. These are the newer nickels as well. We got some painted nickels. I like all colorized items for sure. As, as you're looking right here, it doesn't have to be silver. Sacagawea was silver plated, but just because they're neat, different, and uh, well done in that in that note. They're just like it's exceptional specimens of coinage. Look. Just sickening, sickening. Somebody spends the time doing these. Oh my gosh. Where was the buffalo at? Was it the first one? Oh yeah, it was the first one. So that's my favorite one of them. The buffalo in the back and there's the old Lewis and Clark so then you got oh yeah Susan B Anthony got in on the act as well just the back or front though Susan B Anthony beautiful dog beautiful paint job on the old Susan B that's what I see not painted but it is uh Glow in the Dark Toonie from Canada. Let me see if I can charge it up real quick. If I can charge it up real quick, a couple more painted to go, and this video will be over. But yeah, happy Veterans Day, everybody. I want to thank everybody personally from my side for helping out in that auction today and doing what everybody did. That was great. See the glow in the dark on it? You can see it. It was charged real good because that light's fluorescent. I'm going to put it under the halogen and just all blast it up because it glows really bright. This thing is hot. Got the old school halogen light over here. You know what? Don't get much better light though from them. There we go. See that? Cool. But that's a toonie from Canada. Two dollar coin. They call their two dollar coins toonies and they call their one dollar coins loonies up in Canada. Yes, they do. And then, not to be undersold, 90% silver Kennedy half dollar. 
They get in on the mix as well in the painted variety, but they also paint the back. No doubt. Beautiful, beautifully, beautifully done. Look at that. Look at the fine detail in that. Like, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. That's sick. And it's 90% silver. Let's just stick with the Kennedys real quick. There's another one. 40% bicentennial, baby. That's also silver as well. And another one that is so hard to get out of the case. You gotta take out a loan just to get in the thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in that one to show you the back right now. It's in the case, so I can't hurt it with my... I got her. The back of the... I had to show you the back of this one, though. Look how good that is. No joke. That is awesome. No joke. So that's a 40 percenter. And then one more. Last but not least, another Kennedy. Yep, 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 yep. Another 40 percenter. Got the flame on the front with Kennedy right there. It's pretty cool. But we'll check this back out. 40th anniversary of the death of John F. Kennedy, the president, the CIA, and everybody else assassinated. Unbelievable, right? That our country could do that to one of our presidents. But, you know, it was done. The facts have proved it. It was an inside job. Pretty sad. But he has got the eternal flame in Washington. But thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I hope I educated you on the colorized versions of coinage and silver that is out there for you all to be had at any given time. You just have to look sometimes, and you'll find what you're looking for. Take care. Stay safe. Go out and do something nice for someone. And keep on stacking, stacking, stacking.